Hey guys, Mark here. Going to show a quick video of the um, software that's used to drive the uh, DaVinci 1.0. Um, but this is XYZWare, so very fancy name. But let's do a quick uh, look around to see what's there. It's a very simple software. You can see up in those up on the left hand side. There's a view mode, so you can just choose actually to make it do different different modes: top, bottom left so that's nice you also can click on the screen with the left mouth button and rotate it around you can do move scale rotate we'll see what move does maybe move actually um, oh okay cool so the move just moves it around the platen. Um they try to center everything up so it's you know really got to do a lot maybe there might be some advantages moving stuff around but uh, I haven't seen it yet um, but let's see the other place there's a Import, export, save, print, settings, about, let's see what settings is. Settings just tells me what kind of printer I have and it automatically goes in the center and would I like to be a helper? Not right now. But uh, let's do a export or let's do print. Let's press print and see what happens. So print is a pretty simple splash. It's nice. So there's a quality. So that's very basic. It says normal good excellent so probably normal is the 0.4 millimeters good is the 0.2 and excellent is the higher one it doesn't say um, really simple there's a raft and a support so those are on off uh, turn raft on and off um, but let's go to the advanced settings and the advanced actually allows you to create your own profiles so that's for the density and layer thickness, speed, and number of shells. So that's all that's able to be changed. What's basic? Oh, so you press advanced basic, it basic just drops you back down. Um, but let's set this density to 3D density. Let's just do high, I guess. Um, layer thickness, I'm gonna stick to the point two. It's pretty reliable. Shells, I'm gonna increase the shells a little bit on this. Um, let's go thicker. Eh. Let's go normal. See how it turns out. We'll go thicker later. Um, speed standard, and then uh, I'm gonna make another video. But I'm basically just gonna press print here, and my printer's already connected. But it's gonna go through this elapsed time, and I'll come back to the machine actually printing. So, part one. Here we go.